What is up guys, I am JKU390, and I'm going to show a little bit of behind the scenes with audio editing. Uh, it's kind of like a little tutorial if anybody's interested, kind of what I do if anybody's interested, and a little bit of an outtake if anybody's interested. So, to start things off, this was from Worms Revolution. I've actually already finished all the audio for it, the whole thing's done. I just reopened the raw files, I've got them in here. Going down the line, we've got my audio, Preeson's audio, Tarvidi's audio, and Chibi's audio. So, the first thing you can notice whenever I get a bit closer to it, right now all of the audio is desynced, by the way. None of us, if we talk, will make any sense. Like, I'll just play a real quick part right here. And Kyle, make sure your Camtasia Yeah, pretty through. much. Yep. So, we have absolutely no idea where anything goes right now. First things first, Chibi's audio. As you probably heard, there is quite a bit of static in there, so if I solo it, you hear that static. So, first thing we want to do is get rid of that. Actually, he's peaking quite a bit, too, so that's the next thing we're going to want to get rid of. So, um, I had a weird swallow there. Go to effects, right meow, noise removal, and I'm using a different version of ca or Audacity that I'm comfortable with. I wanted to record this on my desktop, but I normally do all my audio editing on my laptop, which is what I'm recording my current audio with right now. And that I actually have the beta, it's like, I think version 2.3 maybe? Uh, hang on, let me check. Sorry, beta version 1.3. And it actually has a lot less settings than this, which I think makes it better. But, nonetheless, I have everything the way I like it right now. It's I don't understand like sensitivity, so I just have that on zero because that's the one it doesn't have. Uh, I don't want to change the attack and delay time, but I did want to do noise reduction. So what we do is we highlight the area we wanted, which I did right here. Effect, like I already said, and noise, or noise removal, then click noise profile. After that, don't really do anything else. Uh, highlight the entire track. So I guess I really don't do anything else. Just highlight the entire track. Then go to Noise Removal once again. This time, don't click on Get Noise Profile. Instead, just click on OK. The first thing we did was the noise profile we got was the bar of static. And what it's doing with said static is it's going to find it throughout the entire thing and then remove it from it. Now, there's actually going to be one more part we're going to have to do that with with Kyle's audio, or Chibi's audio, which was where his air conditioner turns on, and I didn't want that in the part either. Luckily, I think from the part I'm going to be working with, you guys won't really have to worry about seeing that. So, this is the full recording. I split it whenever I did the Worms actual video, I think about 24 minutes in. And then the other part was video part 2. Alright, so as you guys should have just saw, the static and stuff for the most part disappeared. Now let's listen to the sound of Inks. So, solo. Now it's not near as bad. There's still the occasional sound of like a little bit of static in there, and there's also the stuff of like him sniffling or echo pickup from if his mic picked up anybody else. For the most part, though, you can hear when he talks, which would be like... Yeah, I'm ready. So, you'll want to probably go through, if you want to make the sound even nicer, go through like in these empty spots. I'd be make sure it's a lot more precise in actual editing, but just for the sake of making this quick, just highlight the areas you want, and go up here and click on Silence. So now, that area will be just lack of sound and uh yeah i'm ready and there's no there's no kyle sound there all right so it's still peaking a bit so what we can do ultimately is just go to amplify and the max part where it's peaking is 0.7 decibels over where it peaks to know it's peaking it's pretty simple for those who don't know it's also can be called clipping areas like this where the audio just kind of bleh, it, instead of being all these like pointed edges, it just becomes a flat surface. It's peaking there, or clipping there, depending on what you want to call it. Um, so ultimately, you just want to get that fixed. And whenever you do peak, then it usually makes those weird sounds of like a bad mic, which ultimately, if you edit it right, you can make a bad mic sound pretty good. Um, actually, let's do it with the whole thing. So yeah, just amplify it. And I'll just do it like that. There might have to be another... Okay, now it's going to be pretty quick. So now at least it's not trying to go far louder than it should go. Usually if you go to your mic setting stuff, which right up here, you can lower this, your input volume, and you should be fine. Actually, I might as well show you guys, or anybody that doesn't know, how to set a mic. If you have a mic plugged in, you click Edit, you go to Preferences, and you pick your uh, device. Which, for this one, I... I don't even know I clicked on the speaker. For the recording device. I have this set to my front mic. Again, I'm not using this desktop. This is uh, 
or for recording what you're hearing right now. I'm using my laptop. So that's not my actual microphone. Um, I always have the channel and audio set to mono instead of stereo because there's only... It's voice, so it's not actually stereo, it's mono. And it's going to be coming evenly out of both sides opposed to stereo where you might have a little bit of, like... It's kind of like if you make a song and stuff, you'll have one set of rhythms on one track, the other on the other pan, so there'll be left side you'll hear a louder noise, right side you'll hear the same noise. But because, like, a slight change in the tone, you can tell it it's, like, on both sides of you. I don't know, it's... But voice is one sound, it's mono, you don't have to worry about that. It's not going to change anything. Other than give you more stuff on your screen, which I'd rather not see. Alright, so Tyler's audio, which is right here, Tarvides, his is quiet. His is pretty easy to fix. I mean, you can go through and find certain areas to amplify. Like, if I wanted, I could just go to this, amplify. And the max it would go without peaking is 9.4. I usually raise stuff about 5, or like 5 to 7. And generally, it does the job. Like, here it's still pretty quiet, but not much really to worry about. So, this uh, might want him to... Yeah, that goes up to 20 decibels louder than it could get. But I don't want to go too much into technical terms for... I know there's people out there that don't know what, like, decibels and stuff like that is, so I'll try and keep it a bit easier, I guess. So I'm not going to worry as much about getting everything here, like, volumed, all equalized and leveled and all of that unnecessary stuff. What I am going to do, however, is sync it. Usually whenever we sync our audio, or what we used to do at least, is we would do a countdown starting at like 7, and we would just count down at a basic tempo of just kind of like... about that, which by the way was clapping for anyone that was like, oh, does that sound you're pervert? But yeah, we'd go about that speed, so it'd just be like 7, 6, 5, 4, so it'd just be the basic tempo. And then usually when you get to about 3 or 5 or whatever, everybody else would join in, and they'd count down too. And whenever we do that, then we can get all of our audio synced. Well, what we did this time, actually, is we all counted down and said sync. Alright, so the audio actually starts bef... Let's see. Okay, here it is. Here's where I was doing the original countdown. I'd go 3, 2, 1, and then together everyone in the group said sync. So it was just me going... 3? 3, 2... One, sync, like that. And everybody, else, eh, everybody else's audio will be in different spots, so Kirk might have said sync here. Ah! Nope, that was just him yelling. Sync! There it is. So basically what I'm going to want to do is grab his audio, drag it down to here, because I'm going to want to show you guys what was before this, just if you want to hear our random conversation. Um, three? All right, yeah, that was Kyle's end right there, so i got to move this down. See. Sync. All right, there's Kyle syncing. Move this down. Right now, it's probably not perfectly aligned. I know that, but it will be fixed. All right, I don't know when Tyler said sync is the problem. All right, so because of how low his audio is, here is actually where Tyler said sync, which was just sync. So I'm going to take that, drag it to, yeah, I think that was it right there. I can't remember. Sync. Yes. And now, we're going to zoom in and get all these a bit closer. Alright, so this right here, this area would be where Kirk started taking a breath with it. Sing. I would assume. Sing. Yeah. So he was getting ready to say sync. So here is the breath, I guess. Yeah. Alright, so for the most part, that should be about where we said the sync. Because you can see where the voice, I guess, amplified the most. And then, actually, that might be aligned. Sync. Sync. I'll bring Kyle's forward a bit. Sync. Sync. There we go. And for the most part, that's pretty much aligned. Now, Kirk's audio actually peaked a bit here, I think. Amplify. No? Okay. So it actually just hit the lines, but it didn't peak. Because if you have a nicer mic, it generally tries to prevent itself from peaking. This, I'm not really sure what it was. That's Kirk moving his mic. So this is stuff that you click silence on. And now you'll actually be able to hear us conversing about, I think, yeah, trying to explain the whole sync mark thing. Uh, first was just me getting my video and my audio set up, which... That's the first I forgot. Okay, now I'm syncing that. Now my Camtasia is starting. It says three, two, one. And that was me counting down my video uh, starting up because I wanted to be able to sync the audio to the video, because we record everything separate. So, and I'm about to go back, so, boop. Alright, so basically I had it 
picked up there. And then whenever I hit a mouse click, you hear the... That picks up pretty loud on audio if you get it close enough to the mic. So whenever I do that, it helps me... If I click, like, File, that's how I started this video. I clicked File, and I hit the left-click mouse. And now I know where it's going to start, because it's going to be right when File opens, and at the same time I hear the audio peak. So here's where the actual video starts, I guess, with us just chatting. Are you guys, uh... Is that serious? Right. Yeah, me either. I know, Tyler. Are you guys ready to do the countdown? Yeah. And Kyle comes in? Yes. Get your get your audacities on. Audacity Bam! And, and now we're all on. So here's where we started talking about the whole sync thing, I think. And, and I guess the rest of it will be, uh, will be this, which is basically outtake material, usually. And you'll also get to hear a fail of whenever we tried to start our intro the first time. So that's a little bonus for you guys. For staying and watching said video. And Kyle, make sure your campaign. Just make sure we, you all say Mark yeah, at it's the same time as Jordan, because it could have just been the Skype delay, but sync. it sounded like. Which real fast, that was Tyler also correcting him on sync. It was me, then Tyler, and then. I'll boost up his audio a bit. Sure, seventeen. There you go. So his audio actually needs to be boosted quite a bit. Tyler's was really low that day. It's same running. Time as Jordan, because it could have just been the Skype delay, but sync. it sounded like. What? Sync. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Did I say Mark? Again? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I think I called... Tyler and I said the exact same stuff at the exact same time. Sync. You said Mark. Yeah. Okay, and then Tyler's. Sync. You said Mark. Yeah. Wow, that was. That's something. Um. As you can see, I generally don't listen over our random stuff at the beginning. I'm just gonna amplify that a bunch. Ten. Sure. Same. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. You said Mark. Again? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Let's Sorry. Continue. I call my friend Sh Sh Sean. His name is Sheen. His name is Sean. I call him Sheen. Damn it. Shane. What's that have to do with Mark? Well, because I I have a everything. friend named Mark, and I always call him Sink. It gets really confusing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> I just have a friend named Sink, and I call him Mark, but that makes more sense. All right. You guys ready? Yeah. Yep. Kyle, both ears on? Yeah. I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one. Sink. Sink. And then here's where we would start doing our actual intros, which you guys usually hear when I do like the what's up, I'm JK390, or what's up guys, is what I say. I forgot my own intro. And Tyler's like hi, or whatever, Kyle says yo, so on. So yeah, here's where this would usually start, but here was the fail. <laughs> oh, fuck. What is up guys, I am JKU390. And I'm Priest 101. I'm Kyle Beating. Ah. I'm Kai. God damn it, Kyle. Kyle, you got a text there, bud, but uh, I think I should be able to cut that out as long as you didn't say... You know what, Kyle, just introduce yourself again. I'm Chibi Kai. There we go. Alrighty, so we're going to play Worms Revolution. We tried... God dang it, Kyle! Oh, don't worry! <laughs> Is it really? Can we just ignore it? Cause we're... <laughs> uh, so we're, we're going to play Worms Revolution. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so can we uh, reintroduce ourselves? Yeah. <laughs> really? um, hang on, I'm just going to turn my phone off and no, that should um, make things... That's what I said to He's like, no, is it gonna be GPG? Is that what he said? Yeah. <laughs> GPG for you? I mean, it will still happen, <laughs> but it might lessen it. Are you good? Okay, phone is off. Are we good? So I can start the intro, yeah? Yeah, yeah just, alright, let's try this again. <clears throat> Tyler quit. Okay. What is up, guys? I am JKU390. And I am Priest. And that is how our intros went. So here is where you guys saw the video start, and then that was the stupidity that occurred two minutes and some odd seconds before, like two minutes and 16.5 seconds before. Uh, I don't really think there's really much else to show, other than like if you guys want to just F around with audio sounds and stuff. Like, I've done in Mega Man the Zero series, I made some of the voices change, like, What is up guys, I am JKU390. Like I would take something like that, and to make it more of a robotic huge monster sound naturally my voice doesn't sound super robotic or uh like a giant monster again this is a different version than i'm used to so this whole setup is completely different i personally prefer the beta way like the 1.2 beta way more than the current version of skype or uh audacity i prefer the skype's beta too but whatever so what we're going to change here would be the pitch shift not the let's see so that's the tempo change I'm just going to bring this down to negative 7. 
and by the end of it, I still want it to be negative 7. I don't want it to change as it's going. So that's the beginning. This is the end. So whenever I start talking, it'll be at negative 7. It'll be deeper than it was. So then I click it, and after it's done... What is up, guys? I am JKU390. And naturally, I sounded the exact same as I always do with my deep man voice. Um, I mean, listen to how parallel, like, how perfectly aligned the voices are. What is up, guys? Kyle, you got a text? See? I sound the exact same. Other than that, I don't really have much else to show other than, like, echoes and things like that. Like, I think that's the way I set it up. Hang on. Maybe, I don't know. What is up, guys? I am what is up, guys? Nope, that is not the way I usually do it. Also, I'm going to turn off that shift. There we go. Alright. Echo. Not equalization. Let's try point one. What, what is, is up, up guys? guys? I am JKU390. And that's how you give the echo effect of maybe thinking. Like if somebody has a, like in a cartoon or anime or something, they have their internal thoughts. And it's just, what, what is, is up, up guys? guys? I am JKU390. Naturally, I just kind of think to myself who I am and I introduce myself. Uh, that's, that's usually my internal thoughts. But I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, I mean, here's where Chibi's air conditioner and stuff turned on. <clears throat> if I install that, you can see his audio starts picking up weird sounds again all in this area. And then any of the other extra sounds that I hated, like any of these things where Preston's breathing heavy, then I just kind of boop and remove it. Naturally, you want to actually be pretty close in like this. And I generally go through each audio track at a time. Like, I'll start on whichever one's the worst, and then I'll work my way up. And then by the time I get to Priest and Mine, or Priest and Mine and Kevin's, I can generally do those two at the same time. But if there's one where there's, like, a lot of people echoing off of somebody else, like uh, Matt's does a lot primarily in Fable Heroes, then I go ahead and get his done solo, and then I go back through and fix everything else. So that is the end of this tutorial video fail video, random stupidity, and anything else that I threw in here. Ultimately, it was going to just be an outtake video that I was going to make, but I was like, eh, I might as well put a little tutorial thing in there since I have to fix the audio to play it anyway. So, I'm JKU390, and until next time, guys, later. Soldier, the army's